Howdy folks, today I'm going to be watching Wargaming's video on the large boxes for 2023 and what you can earn and why I think you should not buy them. Holiday Ops 2023 is around the corner, which means the gifts are already on their way. Cool. Open large boxes and dive into an atmosphere of celebration. By throwing you your money at Wargaming. You to receive gold, but you will also be gifted 150 random resources plus 50 of one resource that corresponds to the specific large box type. Rock crystal for New Year boxes, pure emerald for Christmas boxes, warm ember for lunar New Year boxes, and meteoric iron for magic New Year boxes. All of this stuff corresponds to different things that you can get from Holiday Up, so it's important to pay attention to which boxes you're buying before you buy them, or you can do what um, I would do, which is buy the bundle where they give you an even amount of each box. But again, I don't recommend you buy them if you're buying them for a certain specific reason. Additionally, from every large box, you can get even more gold, days of World of Tanks, premium account credits, premium vehicles, 3D styles, and even a special guest. Why would we want a cat? Because I'm pretty certain he's basically useless. He just gives you a few missions, which give you nothing. The respectable and furry Red Sure Cat. <laughs> Oh my god, that animation for the cat is horrible. ...is available in large boxes. If received, he will dwell in your festive village until the end of Holiday Ops. And as a respectable guest, he'll have assignments for you. Complete them all to receive one day of World of Tanks premium account, as well as a decal and a 2D style with cat paws. Oh, I actually love that 2C style. I might hopefully get Red Shirt Cat just so I can get the style. <laughs> What's more, large boxes will of course also feature tier 8 and even tier 9 premium vehicles. Alright, so here's where the thing comes in of why I don't think people should buy large boxes. You are buying the boxes because you want one out of these four or five specific tanks. Do not buy them, just wait for them to sell them. Every single one of these tanks will be on sale for like $40 in a few months time they've done it with every single tank that they've put into boxes before and i still i see people blowing two hundred dollars because they wanted one specific tank don't do it it's not worth it the m47 iron arnie is a special tank from large boxes it boasts not only outstanding characteristics but also a spectacular look it's based on Arnold Schwarzenegger's favorite Those tank that he owns himself That's and was updated cool and fact. modified together with him for World of Tanks. In addition to good armor, this American also features many screens, add enjoyable gun depression angles, an excellent armor penetration, and you'll have an awesome gift, courtesy of Arnold. The BZ-176 is a Chinese heavy tank with excellent frontal armor and the ability to truly surprise the enemy. An impressive 160 millimeter naval caliber gun will hardly leave anyone indifferent. Flashbacks to the British light tanks when they say that. Each shot from this gun will be a nice present for you and a massive chunk of coal for your opponents. Jesus, that's such a bad pun. On top of that, the BZ-176 features the new jet booster mechanic, which allows it to appear or disappear in the most spectacular and, most importantly, effective manner. They're just adding gimmicks to the game now. Like, some of the gimmicks were pretty bad, but at least the turbo and the CS made sense. This thing just doesn't. The Semavente CC-64 Vipera is a Tier 8 Italian tank destroyer. This vehicle is created to cause damage on the front line. It has good frontal armor, a 5-shell autoloader, and a damage per shot of 400 HP. This TD appeared very recently in the game, but it has already become liked by many. It's beautiful, stylish, and dangerous, and it's ready to get in your garage. 
The AMBT is another American medium tank. It's also a familiar one. This tank has a three-shell magazine with an auto-reloader, enjoyable gun depression angles, a sturdy turret, good damage per shot, and excellent armor penetration. Turret so far back, it makes poking a ridgeline really difficult with it, though. And that makes the AMBT a truly menacing opponent. The Charmelie 75 is a French light tank and the first premium tier 9 from large boxes. It features an unusual combination of two mechanics. This charming Frenchman has two engine modes, standard and rapid. It also has a very interesting autoloader. With one click, you can unload a clip of three shells at your opponent, and the tank has two such clips. I hope that's sped up, because otherwise this thing's going to be broken. The two-shot autoloaders on, like, the Barask and the Skodas is really good. So if this thing can fire three shots out that quickly, it's going to be broken OP. Clips in its magazine. This is a wonderful vehicle that will surely bring you a burst of joy in the new year. You can receive any of these vehicles, not only randomly, but also guaranteed. If you don't get a high-tier vehicle from 49 opened large boxes, you are guaranteed to receive one in the 50th one. You can check the guaranteed vehicle counter on the large box opening screen. The counter resets each time you receive a high-tier premium vehicle. In addition to high-tier vehicles, low-tier premium tanks can drop from large boxes too. The tier two, Tier 3, Tier 4, and 5 vehicles will become an excellent addition to your collection. Or if you buy enough large boxes, it'll just be loads of gold for you. And that will last you throughout the whole year. And don't worry if you get a vehicle that you already have in your garage. You'll be compensated for it with gold. But there's more to Holiday Ops than premium vehicles. Large boxes also contain new 3D styles. The Super Conqueror. An That's a really nice style. combination of Art Deco and Electro Punk. Just look at it. This Brit is literally sparking. And most importantly, this dandy has its own vehicle HP indicator. Uh, just in case you don't want to check any of the UI in the game. Looks impressive. The STRV 103B, a 3D style that reacts to gameplay. Just enable siege mode and you'll see for yourself. That's cool. That's really cool. The laser rangefinder goes up, the radar starts rotating, and you understand that you're ready to dish out tons of damage. The Minotauro, the menacing Italian tank destroyer has become even more impressive. This vehicle got steel horns and sharp fangs. And there's a real maze on its turret. As a reminder of the essence of this tank destroyer. Nice S uh, reference to the labyrinth from Greek mythology. The victims in the maze are doomed. Doomed to meet the Minotauro. The Bat Chatillon 15558. The aggressive and defiant style of this artillery doesn't lack charm. Armed with mantis blades, the Frenchman doesn't forget where it comes from and is ready to bring punishment from the bushes. The Char Fujur 4, another Frenchman. An agile and aggressive tier 9 medium tank in a new look. It's bold and ready for anything. Additionally, large boxes will contain 3D styles from last year. They haven't yet lost their relevance, and you will have another opportunity to snag them. I really, Select large I really like that FE style. 
match boxes right in the garage or in the premium shop and enjoy the celebration together with World of Tanks. Okay. So. They say there's no way you can lose out. All the goods you get are worth more than the box. But again, if all you're looking for is the tank, just wait for them to sell it. Don't buy the boxes. If you want to buy boxes, you got to be buying them because you get loads of gold, premium time, enough to last you a whole year if you do it right. So that's just my thing. If you're buying it for the tanks, don't buy it. If you want to buy boxes, buy them for the gold and only the gold. And here's your, your options. You can get premium account, gold, which is included on top of the default, by the way. That's not just... You get 250 gold, and that's it. You get 250 plus 250, or plus 500, or plus 1,000. Credits, arguably the most useless one. Premium tanks, low-tier premium vehicles, or by the end of it, just lots of gold. 3D styles, as you can see, or the red share cat, which I want because I want the style. And this is my way I'm going to be using to buy them. I'm going to buy them with the of all four types. Probably with the 40% discount, just because it's the cheapest. So every box contains resources. 150 random resources, 250 gold. Then the drop chance of one of these items is pretty high, so it's mostly what you're going to be getting. And you might get the Red Shirt Cat, or a Tier 8 or 9 Premium Vehicle, or a Tier 2 or 5 Premium Vehicle, as well as all the 3D styles. Um, this is actually slightly higher than the one every 50 boxes. Uh, one every 50 boxes is a 2% chance, roughly. But again, at least they added the mechanic that if you buy 50 boxes, you are guaranteed to get at least one tank, which I think is a great thing compared to what it used to be, where there were some poor people who would literally spend like $400 trying to get the four tanks from it. And they wouldn't get any of them, or they'd get one. And if I remember correctly, it will only give you tanks that you do not have before it starts giving you ones that you do have. So I have the A and B T already. So I will only be have a chance of getting these four until you've got them all, and then it will give you the gold. Let's see. You can get. One day of premium account, funny decals, and a special style. So at least the style's cool. And does it have special marks of excellence? I guess it does. I think there. Can't pause. All right, let's look at the tanks real quick. Okay, so the M47, horrible accuracy, or good gun depression, good turret armor, meh view range, meh. Mobility, penetration's all right. Yeah, but I have a feeling it's going to mostly have to do... They haven't told us the whole armor, so I have a feeling the whole armor is going to be garbage. And this accuracy, and I don't think the reload's going to be very good, because they don't mention the reload. They're trying to make these things look good. Yeah, it's dynamics and aiming time are not the best. Exactly. They've balanced it out by giving it meh hidden statistics and other things to make it worse and they're only showing the statistics here that make the tank look good okay so let's see big damage pretty bad pen for a tier 8 heavy bad accuracy decent turret armor so you get to use your jet boosters four times and you ooh, you can't reverse so this jet booster mechanic should be pretty balanced uh, if the thing weighs a lot, which we can't see from this, it may be very good for ramming. If you can get going downhill to 45 kilometers an hour, just ram into some lightly armored tanks, you'll do a lot of damage. Char Amelie 75. This is a six shell, so it has a really long magazine load. That's a good thing. The accuracy isn't great, and the penetration's bad for your tier 9. Average damage isn't that high for your tier 9 either, so that's a good thing. It's a light tank with 350 meters view range. I hope that's a typo. 
Otherwise, this thing's going to be literal garbage. I have a feeling that's how they balanced it. They made it so it can't see anything. And really long reload. And I have... They're not telling us what the intershot reload is. It's probably going to be really long. Like if you've played the M5 Stewart, it fires one click all five shells, but each shell takes like half a second to load, and that's a 37 millimeter. So I'm betting it's going to be like two seconds in between each shot, not the boom, boom, boom that they showed in the video, which is just to make it look good. The AMBT, it's an all right tank, but the auto reloader takes so long to load, so it makes it really awkward to play. Other than that, it's decent. It just it needs to have like a second shaved off of all of these. Pen's good, damage is good, armor is decent. But yeah, you do really need a little bit better auto uh, reload on the auto reloader. And you have to be careful because it hurts so far back on the tank, it's very awkward to crest ridges. And then the Vipera. I haven't played this tank. I know the autoloader is going to be interesting, so I'm looking forward to being able to play it. And then it just talks Tier 4 British Light Tank is the Harry Hopkins 1. Okay, so it's based on the Tetrarch, hence the look. Tier 5 German Heavy Tank. Oh, so that's a captured KV-1 with a German 75. That could be good, actually. Okay, so it's a less damaging KV-1, but reloads faster. And a better view range. That could be interesting. Might be a new likable tank at a tier 5. This thing's funny. First double barrel TD. First double barrel... Oh, God. HE-based gameplay. They nerfed HE. It's not worth it. I do like the 222mm howitzers. But it's got, apparently it got decent mobility from the T-34, so that could be a decent tank. 38H, also known as the Mini Mouse, I don't think it needs anything else to be said about it other than that. And then the M3 Lite. Now oh, that's been in the game for years. Okay, and then you got your 3D styles. I think you said they've got all custom marks of excellence. Oh, I'd like to be able to see it, but yeah, you can't see the marks on here, which is a shame because they did say, oh, they've got custom marks, but yeah, the styles do look good. The styles are always great. I wish Wargaming monetized the game that way instead of selling premium tanks that are a lot of times OP. And yeah, here's all the styles from last year. I'm going to get the FE soon, so I'll be able to show off that style. I don't have the VZ yet. Object 2684. I don't have that tank yet. Don't have this tank yet. Don't have the ST2 yet. Don't have the Sheridan. I'm at the T49 with that one. This is one I'm second closest. I have the ship barn unlocked, but I don't have it um, purchased yet because I just don't have the credits. And I'm waiting for the 10% um, off or 20% off from the Holiday Ops before I buy it. And okay, so this you're gonna get nine thousand, nearly ten thousand credits for all the you know, high tier premiums, and then yeah, seven fifty, eight fifty thousand fifty. Not a lot of credits for the low tier. All right, and it tell oh so it, they've changed it so they've made it so you can easily keep track of everything you've received. Okay, so that's gonna be useful for me for making a video about it. As long as I don't hit reset, it'll show me everything and I can quick write it all down, calculate how much I get per box, and tell you whether I think they're worth it. But again, they're not worth it if you're only going for the tank. Anyways, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitch to see more of this Holiday Ops content. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks and goodbye.